Hi, this is Tamim Azizada with Vanguard Instruments, and in this video, I'll walk you through the Vanguard TTRA S2 Transformer Turns Ratio Analyzer software. The TTRA S2 software is compatible with the Vanguard ATRT01 and O1B S3, CVT765, ATRT03 S2, ATRT03 A S2, Triphase, TRF100, TRF250, and TRF250A Transformer Turns Ratio Analyzers. With the TTRAS2 software, you can retrieve test records from a turns ratio analyzer, analyze your test records, generate reports, create test plans for testing transformers, voltage regulators, and load tap changers, transfer test plans to a turns ratio tester, run turns ratio tests, and export test reports in PDF, XML, and Excel format. The TTRA S2 software is included with all compatible Vanguard products, but we highly recommend downloading the latest version from our website. To download the latest version, open your browser and navigate to www.vanguard-instruments.com. Once there, you will need to log into your account. If you don't have an account, please create a free account by clicking on the Create New Account link on the left-hand side of the homepage. Once you've logged into your account, Hover over the Downloads link and click on Software Firmware Downloads. Then scroll down to find your Turns Ratio Analyzer model and the software link will be listed in the far right column. Right click on the software link and save it to your hard drive. Once the download is complete, navigate to the folder where you downloaded software and extract the compressed file. After the files are extracted, double click on the TTRA S2 software icon. If you have an administrator account on your computer, we highly recommend right-clicking on the file and selecting Run as Administrator. The installation wizard will be launched. Click on the Next button to start the installation. This screen gives you the option to install the software at a different location on your computer. We'll be installing it in the default location for this example. It'll be installed on drive C under the Vanguard TTRA S2 folder. If you want to select a different location, click on the Browse button. Next, click on the Install button. When the installation is complete, the Run TTRA 4.8 checkbox will be checked, giving you the option to launch the application immediately after clicking on the Finish button. Click on the Finish button, and the software will be launched. When you first launch the TTRA S2 software, you'll see a blank workspace along with the command ribbon at the top. Related commands are grouped together in the command ribbon. If there isn't enough space on the screen, some command groups will be collapsed, showing only one item. You can click on the command group to view all the commands in that group. The view group provides options for viewing a test records graph or test report. The test group provides functions for working with test records. The test plan group provides functions for working with test plans. Lastly, the application group lets you configure the default application settings by clicking on the settings icon and also provides an icon for accessing the turns ratio calculator. At the top left corner of the application window is the TTRA S2 menu button. Click on this button to view a list of your recent documents. You can also print test reports from this menu. If this is the first time you're using the TTRA software, we highly recommend configuring the default application settings. Let's click on the Settings icon in the Application group on the Command Ribbon. The Communications section lists options for connecting your Turns Ratio Analyzer to the computer so that it can communicate with the software. In most cases, checking the Auto Detect option will be able to detect the Turns Ratio tester connected to your computer. If you're using a unit that offers a native USB interface such as the Triphase, uncheck the Auto Detect option and check the USB Enable option. If using one of the newer Vanguard units, such as the ATRT03 S2, you can also manually select the communication port. First, you must find out the COM port assigned to the device by your computer. Let's go to the Windows Control Panel and open the Device Manager. Now we will look under the Ports section to see what COM port was assigned to the device. Now we can select this COM port in the TTRA S2 software. Check the Save Setup File checkbox if you would like to save the changes you're making for future sessions. The test limit is the maximum number of tests to perform when creating a test plan or when running a test on the fly. The Test Plan Path input field shows the current default folder where test plans are stored and retrieved from. You can also change this location by clicking on the Browse button. The Test Record Path input field shows the current default folder where test records are stored and retrieved from. If you decide to change this location, please be aware that you must have read and write privileges to this folder. 
You can customize your test reports with your company's logo by providing the location to the logo file in the Report Logo field. The logo file must be in bitmap format and we recommend an image size of 1000 pixels by 100 pixels or any size with 10 to 1 proportions. The TTRA S2 software can automatically export test records in PDF, XML, and Excel formats. You can enable the Auto Export option by checking the appropriate checkboxes in the Auto Export section. Click on the OK button when you have made any necessary changes to the application settings. Now that we've configured the default application settings, let's start working with some test records. First, we'll open a test record from the computer by clicking on the Open icon in the Test Command group. The top section of this window shows the folder where the test records are being retrieved from. You can select a different folder location by clicking on the Path button. We'll use the default test location for this example. Select the test record you want to open by clicking on it and then click on the OK button. When you open a test record, the TTRA S2 software will automatically export the test record in the formats you had selected in the application settings. The exported file will be located in a subfolder where the original test record is located. For example, if your test record is located in the C Vanguard TTRA S2 tests folder and you had selected the PDF auto export option, the PDF file will be located in the C Vanguard TTRA S2 tests PDF folder. Once the test record is loaded, you can modify the header information if needed. Now let's take a look at the test data. We can see that this test was performed with an ATRT 3 s 2 and the test voltage was 40 volts. The max deviation percentage can be changed here. This value is the tolerance value to determine if a test passes or fails. When performing a test, the calculated turns ratio value is compared with the measured value. If the percentage difference between the values is greater than the max deviation percentage, the test is marked as failed. If it is below the max deviation percentage, it is marked as passed. This is shown in the PF column here. You can change this value and the PF column values will be updated accordingly. The bottom section of the window displays the actual test data. The numbers on the far left column represent the test number. If the test is a three-phase test, the phases are listed in the phase column. Next, we have the H nameplate voltage. Here, we have the X nameplate voltage. Since this test record is from a load tap changer, the X tap column shows the tap number. The calc ratio column displays the calculated ratio based on the H and X voltage values. The measured ratio column displays the actual ratio measured by the ATRT 3 s 2 the deviation column shows the percentage difference between the calculated turns ratio value and the measured turns ratio value. The PF column displays a P if the test passed or F if it failed. This is determined by comparing the deviation value with the max deviation percentage value. The IMA column shows the excitation current in milliamps at the test voltage level. The angle column displays the phase angle. Lastly, you can manually enter the winding resistance value in the res column. If you have the ATRT 3 s 2 still connected to the PC and to the load tap changer being tested, you can rerun any of the tests listed by clicking on the test and then clicking on the Run Test button. The test will be performed in the measured ratio, deviation, pass-fail flag, current, and phase angle values will be updated. Whenever you save a test record, it will also be automatically exported to the formats you had selected in the application settings. If you want to manually export the test report at any point, you can click on the export icon. Next, let's open a test record from a transformer tested with the Vanguard Triphase True Three-Phase Turns Ratio Tester. When viewing a test record from the triphase, you have the option to view the data in single phase or three phase mode. In single phase mode, the turns ratio is calculated using the line to neutral calculation method based on the transformer type. In three-phase mode, the turns ratio is the voltage ratio, so it's simply the H voltage value divided by the X voltage value. You can view the deviation graph by clicking on the graph icon in the View command group. The graph shows the test record number on the X axis and the deviation percentage value on the Y axis. The cyan colored bands show the standard deviation value of 0.5%. To view the data again, click on the Report icon in the View command group. You can save the test record at any time by clicking on the arrow below the Save icon in the Test command group. Select Save As if you'd like to give the file a different name or select Overwrite to overwrite the current file with the updated data. You can print the report, the graph, or both from the TTRA S2 menu button. 
Retrieving test records from a connected device is also a simple process. Make sure the device is connected to your computer and then click on the Download from Device icon in the Test command group. The device's test record directory will be displayed. In this example, we can see that the connected ATRT-03 S2 has two test records stored in its internal memory. To retrieve the test records to your computer, select them by clicking on the first one and then control clicking on additional ones. Next, enter a file name prefix in the file name prefix input field. When the test record is imported to your computer, the file name will start with this text followed by the record number. Click on the OK button. Now select the folder where you would like the test records to be saved and click on the OK button. The test records will be retrieved from the device and saved on your computer hard drive. Let's confirm that the files were copied to the correct location and given the correct file names. The TTRA S2 software can also be used to create test plans for quickly performing turns ratio tests. Using a test plan, you can define the type of device that will be tested, the number of tests to be performed, and the parameters for each test. This is a very convenient way of performing routine tests on the same transformer, voltage regulator, or load tap changer. First, let's modify an existing test plan by clicking on the Modify Plan icon in the Test Plan command group. The top part of this window displays the folder path where the test plans are located. If you would like to choose a different location, click on the Path icon. Select the test plan you would like to modify and click on the OK button. Now that the test plan is loaded, you can modify any of the test parameters as necessary. You can change the header information, the type of transformer, the maximum deviation percentage value, the test voltage, and the Vanguard turns ratio tester model that will be used to perform the tests. This sample test plan is configured to perform three tests. You can change the number of tests by clicking on the Set Number of Tests button. Now you can change the H and X voltage values if needed. Once you've made any necessary changes, save your test plan by clicking on the arrow below the Save icon in the Test Plan group. To save it as a new test plan, select the Save As option. To overwrite the existing test plan with the changes you've made, select the Overwrite option. Creating test plans is also a simple process. You can create test plans for transformers, voltage regulators, and load tap changers. Let's start with creating a test plan for a transformer. To create a test plan, click on the arrow below the new icon in the test plan command group. Now select Transformer. A blank test plan will be displayed. Enter the header information that you would like to help identify your tests. Then select the transformer type. For this example, we are creating a test plan for a delta to y type transformer. Next, enter a maximum deviation percentage value. We will use the default value of 0.5%. Select the test voltage from the voltage drop-down menu. Since we're currently connected to an ATRT-03S2, the software assumes that the test plan is for use with this device, so the device type option is grayed out. If you're not connected to a device, you will be able to select the Vanguard Turns Ratio Tester model from the device type drop-down menu. In this example, the test plan started with a default of 20 tests. We'll change this to 3 by clicking on the Set Number of Tests button. Now we will enter the nameplate voltage values. For this transformer, the nameplate H voltage is 12,000 and the X voltage is 208. The calculated ratio will be displayed in the Calc Ratio column. Now let's save the test plan by clicking on the arrow below the Save icon in the Test Plan group and selecting Save As. We'll give the test plan a name and then click on the Save button. Now we can perform a test using the test plan we just created. To run a test using a test plan, click on the Run icon in the Test Command group. Select the test plan you would like to use and click on the OK button. The test plan will be loaded. Click on the first test and click on the Run Test button. The connected ATRT-03S2 will start performing the test on the transformer. The test results will be displayed once the test is done. Click on the Next Test button to run the next test. Once done performing all tests, click on the arrow below the Save icon in the Test Command group and select Save As to save your test record. Now let's create a test plan for a voltage regulator. To create a test plan for a voltage regulator, click on the arrow below the new icon in the Test Plan command group and select Voltage Regulator. Enter the number of raised steps and neutrals. If the number of lower steps is not the same as the number of raised steps, check the Use Custom Lower Steps checkbox and then enter the number of lower steps. Enter the H voltage value at neutral and the voltage step in percents. Lastly, select the tap location 
and then click on the OK button. Now you can enter any relevant header information, select the test voltage and also the Vanguard Transformer Turns Ratio Tester Model. And now we'll save our test plan. Creating a test plan for a low tap changer is almost the same as creating one for a voltage regulator. First, click on the arrow below the new icon in the test plan command group and select low tap changer. Next, enter the number of raise steps and neutrals. If the number of lower steps is different than the raise steps, check the use custom lower steps checkbox and then enter the number of lower steps. Now, enter the H and X voltage values at neutral and the voltage step in percents. Then select the tap location from the drop down menu. Click on the OK button. Now you can enter any relevant header information, select the test voltage and the device type. After you've made all necessary changes, don't forget to save your test plan. Once you've created some test plans, you can also transfer them to a compatible Vanguard Transformer Turns Ratio Tester so that they can also be used from the device without a computer. To transfer a test plan, click on the Upload to Device icon in the Test Plan command group. Select the test plan you would like to transfer and then click on the OK button. Next, the Turns Ratio Tester's plan directory will be displayed. Select the memory location where you would like to store the selected test plan. If the memory location isn't empty, the test plan at that location will be overwritten. After you select the memory location, click on the OK button. You can also download test plans from a connected device to your computer. To download test plans from the Turns Ratio Tester, click on the Download from the Device icon in the Test Plan command group. The device's test plan directory will be displayed. Select the test plans you would like to download by clicking on the first one and control clicking on any additional ones. Next, enter a file name prefix in the file name prefix field. This will be used as the first part of the file name on your computer, followed by the memory location number from the device. Click on the OK button. Select the folder on your computer where you would like the test plans to be downloaded to, and then click on the OK button. If your turns ratio tester isn't connected to your computer, you can transfer test plans to a USB flash drive and then later transfer them to a compatible device. To export test plans to a USB flash drive, click on the Export Plan icon in the Test Plan command group. Select the test plans you would like to transfer and then click on the OK button. Now select your flash drive and click on the OK button. Lastly, select the device that the test plans will be used with and click on the OK button. The correct directory structure will be created on the USB flash drive and the test plans will be transferred. We can confirm that the test plans were successfully transferred by browsing to the appropriate folder on the USB flash drive. While test plans are very convenient for performing routine tests, sometimes you may need to perform a quick test on the fly. To do so, click on the arrow below the Create icon in the Test command group and select the device type. For this example, we will select Transformer. The interface is nearly identical to that for creating test plans, except now you'll see some buttons on the bottom of the screen. To perform a test, simply enter the test parameters and then click on the Run Test button. The selected test will be performed and the test results will be displayed. Once you've performed all tests, you can save the test record by clicking on the arrow below the Save icon in the Test Command group and selecting Save As. Now that we've worked with test records and test plans, the last feature of the TTRA S2 software we'll look at is the Simple Turns Ratio Calculator. To use the calculator, click on the Calculator icon in the Application Command group. Enter the H and X voltage values. Then select the Transformer type from the drop-down menu. If desired, type a percentage value in the percent field. This option calculates the turns ratio at the specified percentage of the nameplate voltage. Click on the Calculate button and the turns ratio value will be displayed. Click on the Close button to close the calculator.